Okay, so hi everybody, I am Erin. I am the founder and head wig designer for Hero Hair, the real wig experience. And this is the tutorial on your hair prep for any custom wig that we create for you, which has a full middle part reveal. Um, some of you may already own one of these wigs from us. They are, for example, the Clownette of Chaos, the Princess of Hope buns, and also we have a full part reveal in our Kansas Gale, but she's not on a human head right now. Um, she's actually was made for a one-to-one -one scale uh, mannequin replica for our client relations liaison, who was originally a client, Dan Heisey. So one day we'll get the full reveal on that when we get down to his museum. But for now, let's start this tutorial. There are a few things that you'll need. Now, when we send you your custom wig for your first fitting, we will send you everything you need in your con kit clips, the wig caps we prefer, the hairpins we prefer, um, Hero Seal, lace cleaner supplies, um, combs, everything. But for now, these are things that you can get either on Amazon or maybe you have them in your home, but they are the best for this kind of prep is a triangle clip. And this one has three clips, but normally it's simply this triangle with one prong on the back. Um, but you can also get these on Amazon. And then we are gonna have some hairpins. And these are all things you can get at your local pharmacy or beauty supply store. I have a rat tail comb. This part is the most important. And I have a wig cap. You will need two, but I'm gonna do only one side with a wig cap so you can see both sides at the same time. Um, all right, so, and this is for, I would say like anything past chin length hair. For shorter hair, it won't be as, as um, intricate. It's not intricate, but you won't need to sort of pile, you'll see, but you won't need to pile the hair on top of itself. Um, but what's really important is to get everything as, the goal is to get as everything as flat as possible. Um, but the main important part is your middle part. So we're gonna start with our rat tail comb and we are gonna find the very most center If you have someone helping you with this, that's even better. But I thought doing it myself would sort of show you how, how it's gonna get easier for you with every step um, and every new time you do it. All right, so I've got my middle part. And then I'm gonna take one side and I'm going to get it out of my way with one of these clips. You can use a claw clip or anything you have um, that clips like this. Get that side out of the way. And then we are going to start with this side. Okay, so number two important part is your hairline reveal. This gives us what we need for seeing where your hairline ends, how Travis utilizes the space to create your hairline, 
and directional growth pattern plotting, screen accurate to the character, the actor, depending on what your custom wig is. So what I'm going to do now is take my comb and get this hair back right here. And it's about, let's say, let's go like three fingers back from your hairline. And now you want to take one of your triangle clips and go straight up into the hair like that. Holding all, and I have some bangs, so that's, it's a good location for if you have bangs. It's also good practice for when you're going to be putting on your wig, you'll be utilizing this uh, pin as an anchor point. So now that we've got that one done, we're going to do another one right here. And I like to do this one kind of right up from the top of my ear going straight up and again make sure that that hairline is revealed behind the ear and if your hair you know is lower back here that's fine too we'll get that information in the set of photographs you're going to take for us as well okay now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start right about below right below where that clip is and I'm gonna go straight across and split the hair in half to the part, horizontally. And then what I'm gonna do with this hair is I'm going to lay it as flat as I can against my head and start to wrap it around itself. Like so. Next, I'm going to take another clip, I'm going to find where the one was above my ear and go behind that and go straight up. Then I'm going to take another one and find the topmost part near the central part. And I'm going to clip down. You don't have to worry if your ends are out like this because they'll all be caught in the wig cap at the end. All right, next we're going to take the rest of it here. And the same thing, you don't wanna twist it. That's important. If you twist it, it makes it bulky. So it's about lying it as flat as possible and you're gonna go around what you, created with the top part. So kind of loop around it, making it as flat as possible. And the reveal here that we need is the lower hairline up into behind the ear. All right, so make sure that's all up with a clear reveal. And I'm gonna do one pin right here at the nape. This will be up uh, where you'll do a clip when you're doing your wig prep as well. So good practice to start remembering those locations. And then I'm gonna do another one up here at the top. And I'm gonna do this one going forward like that. Oops, I did it upside. I'm gonna go forward like this. All right. And then take a look. I'm weird. See how I did. Okay. All right, so what I want to do is get this area down a little bit more. So I'm going to use another clip right here. All right, so it's right here, just sort of gathering that loose hair. My hair is very long. It's not very thick, but it's very long. All right. And this guy's gonna get tucked up into the wig cap, so I'm not too worried about him. How are we doing? Looking good. 
All right, let's go to the next side. And the same thing on this side. So taking our comb, going about two to three finger widths behind your hairline. Nice reveal. Of the hairline. It's a very important step. And I don't have a lot of baby hairs, but most people do. And if you do, and you're having a hard time getting them back into the clip, one thing you can do is take a little bit of hairspray on your fingers and get them, just slide them back into your prep as best as you can. We'll have great photos from you, so we'll be able to see what's baby hair and what's your own, your hair going back into the prep and the difference there where the hairline sits, okay? So don't worry too much about it. Do the best you can. We'll only continue to get better at this. All right, so let's do the next side. And again, we are slicing the hair horizontally, top of the ear, towards the part, and wrapping it flat. Round itself. And one clip this way. Another clip going this way. Great. And then second half, getting a nice old in New York today. And same thing. Around the first part that you created. And the reason we split it in half is it helps reduce the bulk. And as I said, we want these preps to be as flat as possible, unless otherwise instructed. All right, let me check my work. All right. One pin here. Okay. Very good. All right. Now we are going to take our wig cap. Now wig caps are meant to go over your entire head. Um, with the middle part reveal, we use two caps, one over each prep. It's basically like two preps, one on each, each side of your head. Um, so they end up being a little bit smaller. I kind of gather it into my hand like this. And if it's a brand new cap also, don't stretch it out. It should be pretty tight and small and about the size that you need it. And then we're going to cover over the hair like this, over the prep. And the goal here is obviously protecting the hair from the wig and for protecting the wig from the hair, we want at least amount of area where they are, can come into contact with each other. So now I'm gonna pull this way up front to my top clip. Great. And then basically anywhere you have a clip, you can feel around in there. Go ahead and pin your cap down. And you're pinning 
into the wig cap like this. You'll hear like a little pop. And then straight up into the clips. I've got some hair poke out, totally normal. So I'm gonna tuck it in. And take your rat tail comb as well. I'm right-handed, so there's always one side that's weirder. To make sure we have that part reveal right, We'll do another pin right there where I tuck the hair in. And then this extra stuff we want to get rid of. So tuck it in like this and fold it over itself. And then pin it in at the corners there as well. Good. Do another tuck here. And that's, that's it. This is the prep for your head wrap bubble shell. And we already have an excellent tutorial for that. So you can head on over to that link and get the full walkthrough guide from your friend at Hero Hair. And as always, um, give me a heads up when you're about to begin the process so I can be on standby and shoot me a text, send me the pictures all along the way and I'll let you know if there's anything we need to change or adjust. So we have exactly what we need to move forward with building your custom wig. All right, thanks for watching everyone. It's made with unicorn hair. down to the dent.